Well, hello, friends. How's it going? This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, British Campaign. Um, on my uh, 2K system, I'm playing the campaign, but um, I didn't get the Aragonte in, in, in uh, that battle to get the extra mission, but on this computer here, which is not 2K, but it's HD, but anyways, I did get the Aragonte. So they, so they gave me the treasure fleet once the stage changed. So I'm only going to play this, this battle here. And we'll go with legend. Because this is treasure fleet. Unless you get that Aragonte, or if I'm pronouncing it correctly, you won't get this battle. And I did, and I'll show it to you in just a moment. It was a third rate um, Ardent, but in my... 2k play um i wasn't able to get it and I, I think i just used the fire ship to take it out so um because you know you don't really want to have to do this but here it is right here i, I named it surely but see it's third rate uh, 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 now i don't know let me see I made one fire ship And that's all I can put into this. Okay, so pause for just a moment. At least one must be fulfilled. Now, let's see what they got. Oh yeah, they got three. Yeah, see, because I got the Yaragante, so now they're going to put in three third-rate Ardens. And looks like two fifth-rates, maybe. All right, well, now, let's see. Let's have him break that. Let's go full sail. Get going. So I'm going to have to use the fire ship. Okay, so now this ship in this campaign is a fourth rate um, Razi. And then. Ronder is a fifth rate <clears throat> ship. So anyways, um, yeah, how is my one third rate going to face three third rates? You know what I mean? Now, I could start this battle and not do the extra difficulty um, to see if there's any difference. Now, I don't think I want to waste the fire ship on a fifth rate ship i think i'd rather take out one of those <clears throat> now of course i overstocked each ship now the question would be if um I'll need one of these sh ships to slip by them, I guess. And they're probably going to shoot at my fire ship, which won't be nice. But you can see the way the wind is going, but. Oh, and these guys got 500 on them. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know if I should have scaled it up. Not scaled it, but I mean, I, I don't know if I should have. Said legend. <clears throat> I 
<coughs> well, at least I got the first volley off. Gotta get that, um, figures he's gonna go after my fire ship. Alright, well, you know what? I could easily set him on fire, but I don't want to. All right, let's pause this because this is going to get a little strange. Oh, I should have had the... Maybe I should have had the fire ship over coming around this way and let these guys go in front. Because I... With him in the way... I was going to use Kathy to take this guy out, but... And Rhonda was supposed to just slip by. And now I'm going right at these guys right here. So I think the plan will be to go past them, I guess. I don't know. I could try to take one of them, but then again, I'm, there's no way that I'm going to defeat this fleet. And that's not the purpose of this. This is why you only have, you only have to get one of these. So you, as soon as you grab one, you can leave. But... Um, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm stalling at the moment. It's just because my f my fire ship is trying to get away, and I don't want Rhonda to get in the way either. Alright, so I, I see my first target right there. Okay, now pause for a minute. <clears throat> now we can repair, so that's good. We can repair. And we can repair. Okay. Now again, um, I'm going to see if I can put this one on fire, so I guess, but I'm also trying to figure out how to get Kathy to get this one. And I think Rhonda is going to get past them, and I might even be, be able to get Shirley past too, but we'll see. So we got one of them on fire. And, and and I don't know if I could take this one out. Let's see. Now, it's going to be unfortunate. Oh, oh, you know, matter of fact, if I could, if I could get this one, I can use these guys to help out. So let's try that.
Yeah, because I could get this guy on there. If he can get on. Come on, get on the ship. Get on the ship. Man, I hate it when they do this. You gotta get on the ship. It looks like he can get on it, and he's not getting on it. Come on, get on the ship. All right, well, I don't know what's going on here, but um, let's, let's anchor for just a moment. And... All right, well, okay, so we did get him. Why is Dawson not getting on it? Is this a bug in the game? Yeah, finally. Now let's go. Now hey, turn turn around. We might be able to get this one. Come on, let's get going. Come on. All right. Well, you know what? I was gonna try to get one of these, but let's look at the whole battle plan here. Now I don't know if oh he's turning around to come back. And he's on fire now. He's turn he's following him. Now here's what I'm thinking. Can can Kathy will repair if she can, but she has gotta get over here to get this ship right here. And I lost my nose, darn it. All right, I'm gonna have this ship turn so it can shoot. I'm gonna tell it not to do that, to repair. And we're gonna see if we can, we can turn so we can shoot at least. And you gotta get going this way, come on. Let's go. And you can start going that way. Come on. And maybe I could try to get one, but I gotta worry about these guys coming at me. I don't know if it'd be worth trying to get one of these. And we're getting close to the objective. Now this ship is hurt, so we can repair. So I think you need to start going here and you may shoot at that one when you get a chance. All right, so we'll at least have that going on. Um, my situation here is kind of kind of weird, but let's get this one going. Ah, and he's broadsiding me too, darn. Well, it takes forever to get these big ships to get going. Alright, well, I'll try to use both of these ships to take out these two right here. Uh-oh, somebody blew up. Alright, come on. Oh, now, hold on. Let me see, how can this go? You right there. You kind of go like that. And then right over here. Now, you need to put a block on and hit this ship right here. I don't think 400, can, I mean, with, with three stars, but I don't think we can do that. Alright, so while that's going on, let's check out over here. Yeah, I figures this ain't gonna line up, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, because if I can if I can get one of these. And if I can knock this guy out. Then we'll only have one more left. Oh. And you might as well get somewhere over there. Oh, this really bites. Because my my ship's gonna be sandwiched in between two third rates. Not good. Well, it didn't work out. I wanted this ship here with this ship, but it ain't gonna work out now. What is going on over here? Yeah, see, he got away. Darn it. Because I can't watch this. All right, come on, you gotta get over here. We gotta get one of them. It's gonna be worth money too, by the way. Now, now because I missed the opportunity here, I might just tell this one to park it there. Okay, we got that. Yeah, so now I can tell Shirley to shoot right there. And this one can shoot that ship. And this one stopped to shoot at this one. And so that means I can then concentrate on this. Now, this is not going good. And now I gotta watch this. I have to shoot at these ships until I can kill them or something. Man. But while I do that, all the other ships will be maneuvering. So get over here and you're gonna get over here. Now you repair and shoot. It might be possible to use this one to capture this one. So, whoops. No. Nope. Alright, well we're just gonna leave that. I gotta watch this over here. And you... You gotta somehow get over here. Alright, well, let me concentrate on this. Matter of fact, I could possibly save just in case something screws up. So let's do that. 
because so far, I mean, I think... I think uh, I'm doing okay, I think. It's just that these guys are so l overloaded. Why ain't my, my... Why ain't my guys shooting at them? that's going on it might allow this one to get over here at some point point. and what do we got going on here okay now he's gonna be maneuvering all right so then you're gonna maneuver this way you're gonna maneuver that way And you are going to go like that to be able to sh keep shooting at him, I guess. See, what I don't see here is my ship shooting at this ship. Oh, come on, shoot him. See how it's open here to shoot green, but it's red this way? I mean, come on, man. We gotta, we gotta be shooting these guys. We gotta hurt them so we can then use canister on them. Yeah, there, finally. Can we shoot? Please. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now canister and anchor for a moment. Alright. So now this ship is going to have to cut him off. And this ship needs to catch up. As a matter of fact, if I were to send him this way, he might even be able to get a shot off on that ship right there. And this one is going to have to go over this way now. Or better yet, just come around this way. And you're supposed to be shooting at him. Okay. And you are trying to get over here. I'm gonna try canister. I mean, I gotta get at least one of these. Because I think it's treasure fleet, so I think you get money for these guys. Come on, why can't we... See, I... Why can't you fire? Come on. Yeah, we only killed a few guys. I mean... If I, if I could park this one here, he can shoot at that ship. Now, how are we doing over here now? Oh, now he's maneuvering. He's maneuvering to intercept. Man, he's maneuvering. Yeah, I don't know if it'd be worth trying to get him. He's got 480, we got 295 and 385. Um, but now he maneuvers. See, and that's the problem with, uh, and, and this has always been a part of the game, is, you know, you, you're trying to concentrate on something, you need, you need all your attention, and over here we got this, you know, problem here. For every time I don't monitor these guys, these guys maneuver to a better position to shoot them. So now, the only thing I can do here is try to get him to go this way now. And this one... Yeah, because if we go this way, we're against the wind. So, yeah, we're just going to head off this way then. And then his, his role will be to try to shoot him. 
repair it, you know, shoot him, whatever, but... I'm not too worried about this ship. You can see he's even wavering. But, yeah, this kind of sucks in a way, but... Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have this ship go over here to help out over here, because if we can get all these, then we can just go to the red zone and get out of here. And leave these two ships behind. Maybe. That's the plan, anyways. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to shoot to kill him, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go with round ball because we gotta damage more of the 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 uh, the uh, planking or whatever well, not the planking but the armor. We we gotta we gotta do more. Yeah, and he, he comes up here and he can shoot that one, so that is good, but I want you to do that. And you blast him right there. Yeah, we gotta we gotta really like I don't wanna sink these, I just wanna hurt them enough to where the canister will be effective. Now, how are we doing okay, so now all right, perfect. Um, this gives us a nice shot right there. And he'll be able to shoot him all the way to here. So, and if he comes over here, I'll use this one to take that one out, I guess. And, and this one's going to come that way, so, all right. Alright, this is just really chancy for me right now. I'm, I'm trying to... I, the, the whole goal is to get at least one of these. Can't let them get away. We gotta hurt them enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna hurt them enough to where canister might be effective or not. I don't know. Maybe I can use, maybe I can use canister. Oh yeah, and I got this Kathy coming up, so she can come right over here. Was that all that? Okay, now they're coming. So yeah. All right, now you gotta come now. And now you can shoot that ship when you get a chance. Come on, let's go. Hey, he he he, he hey, we, one of one of those hits hit a his hit a hit a his rudder, I guess. All right, now I'm gonna have him shoot canister. This one's gonna come on no. Yeah, you go right over here. Get right over there. You get over here. Hey, he's coming back. Let's pause for a minute. Um, 290 to 2. Uh, we might be able to do it, but notice how he's coming this way, so it's going to be really tricky. Like, I certainly don't want to lose my third raid in this battle. Hey, I even got this ship over here. What the heck? I forgot all about it. All right. Hey, you get over here. Maybe you can... Maybe you can shoot him. Yeah. Oh, I forgot all about this ship. Hey, put him on round ball. Uh, he doesn't have the good guns that I got, though. So, they don't go very far. These are probably Armstrongs or something. I don't know what they got. But All right, let's check out. Hey, 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 hey. All right, hold on. All right, now, Kathy. 
Or can I get somebody out of Miguel here? Let me see. Oh, San Miguel. Okay. Yeah, I can drop the 85 out. And and then that means you get over here. All right, now you go get this ship, man. Come on. That's what I was hoping for. Now this ship is sh should be shooting canister and we can repair. So let's do that. Come on, get it. I mean, that would be awesome if I could get it before they turn back. I just noticed that. Now here... Um, now this is a bad situation. Only because it didn't initiate boredom. And he's coming over here to broadside me and I might give up. And I, I don't want to lose my third rate. So, you know, maybe I should save right here just in case that happens. Alright, let's go, let's call this one S1A. Alright. So, I'm just trying to get him to get closer so he can board. I, I do have this one coming to maybe somewhere over here so we can shoot at him. And my, you know, like I said, I didn't think I'd be able to take all of these ships out. Um, the whole point was to get at least one of these and in a moment we should have one. I just got to get this one to give up. Like, I'm trying to shoot it with canister. And I'll put this one on canister and repair. All right, we got it. So now get going. Oi! Okay, this is when the phase changes. Oh, this is where the red zone is. And I bet you the wind's going to change, which... Hey, I think that ship just gave up, though. Okay, let's pause for a minute, because the game puts you over here to show you where this is. Meanwhile, the battle is... I got to get back to my ships. Okay. So, yeah, he just gave up. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've done this battle many months ago where when that wind changes, if you didn't get the other one, it would be such a hard thing to get that ship. And it appears that... I can, I can drop, okay, so now you need to go that way now to get out of here. I'm going to have to anchor you and drop somebody out. And you can just uh, stop. Alright, so that is that. Now... This ship is only small, so he's going to get out of here, too. Oh, and we got everybody over here now. Okay, now this did not... Oh, he went right past me. All right, so... Um... Yeah, let... Oh, no, but see, now we're going against the wind. Ay, ay. All right, so this is not going to work. Neither is this. We've got to turn around. So you got to turn around too then. Darn it. Well, I don't care which way. Well, I don't know. Let's see how this is going to go. Because if we can grab this ship. If while we're... Hey. Yeah, see, I'm between a rock and a hard place at the moment now. Okay, so let's... Hold on. Wait a minute. I gotta get back over here. You gotta get on this ship right here, buddy. Before he changes. Come on. Get on there. Get on that ship. Alright, we got it. We got it. Alright, get going. You just over here for a minute. You got to get going. All 
All right, let's do this for a minute. Let's uh, pause for just a moment. Let's get an overall plan here. All right, now, you... You might be able to go over here and... Yeah, that is not working. Yeah, we're at negative two. It's totally unfortunate. So can can you please just turn around? You gotta turn around. You gotta get over here. And that means everybody. Because where's the red zone? It's got to be over here somewhere. Not looking at it properly. There it is. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go a little fast so we can get some progress going here. Trying to get these ships to turn around. Now, these guys have got to keep going, but you're coming. Oh yeah, this is very hard to manage at the moment. So let me see what we got going here. Oh, okay now, hey! Now, is it possible? It, hey, and he can shoot at him. So let me tell him to shoot right there. Like, I don't know, do you think I should take a, is it greed, if I could try to grab this one while I'm here? Let me see, it's going to be hard, let me see. The heck? Sorry for this, uh. Yeah. Yeah, because if I... If I go this way, I might be able to get him. Now this ship is supposed to turn so he can shoot at this ship. All right, let's try that. And matter of fact, you're going to get over here. And you're coming this way. And you're coming this way. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, let's get back to normal speed, though. All right, he gave up. He gave up. Okay, so hold on. Oh, man, he, you're... He's hurting my ship. Okay. Let me see. Come on. He gave up. Um... Surely, can we just anchor and drop out one unit? Like, like I and <laughs> I would like him to drop out over here. Watch him drop out over here, and this guy will kill him. Watch. Trying to stop. All right, there he is. Get on this ship right here. And now you get moving. Now this one. gonna try to do here is make a blockade I don't know if it'll work but we got to constantly be able to shoot at him and matter of fact I got these guys 
So I've got to get these guys coming over this way too, and then you follow him, okay? And then these guys are... Hey, he's going about eight knots. And he's going about eight knots, so I should just leave them alone. That's pretty good for those ships, going eight knots. Alright, so let's see how we do this. Now, these ships that I captured, um, they don't have repair kits on them. But my ships have repairs. Alright. I'm trying to stop my ship so he can shoot at him. In fact, this ship this ship only has a um, hundred on him, so I'm gonna tell that ship just to get out of here. And what's the ship that we captured? It's a third-rate Arden. Okay. Yeah, we just want to keep shooting that ship. I mean, this one's starting to get hurt, so I... It does have 200 on. Maybe I can drop a couple off. But I don't know, then. Because he is hurting that ship. But if I can get this ship over here... Yeah, I think I'm just going to tell these guys to just go on and get out of here. Repair my ships. Oh, I was on canister. Man. No wonder I wasn't getting the range. So got this one over here I forgot about. Okay. Yeah, I thought I might have a chance of getting him, but 
I'm thinking it might be time to just try to get out of here. I mean, we'll have these ships. Now, it's not a big deal if I lose this, other than the 78 good guys that I'll lose, but... Um, All right, I'm going to transfer some guys to Rhonda. They gotta hurry up and get here. Come on, let's get on the ship. Get you. We might have enough to take him out. If he could just get on the ship. Come on, let's, let's go. And if I can get these guys to turn so they can shoot at him. Why can't you get on the ship, please? Thank you. Now you get over here. And repair. Let's see if we can take this ship out. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do that to us, but Oh, come on, fire. Well, let's go back to normal speed. Come on. Oh, I can't get on. Okay. Come on. Repairing all my ships.
Oh, what a position. Okay, hold on. See, if my ship would just open up on him... It's not even doing anything. Ugh. I mean, we're trying to um, canister him, but it looks like we knocked out some of the armor and some of the planking. But if he's going to continue to fire, then I'm going to have to hit him with round ball because I'm going to want to put more damage on him because I'm, I'm, you know, he's, he's also hitting my ships. Now, the reason my ships don't look badly beaten is because I've been repairing them the whole battle pretty much. But we gotta just, you know, we're just gonna, I mean, it's either this or you just run away, sail away to get to the red zone. So, but I, I you know, I, I took guys off these ships. Matter of fact, uh, you could probably get over, no, you can't, you can get over here though. Maybe you can, maybe you can just turn enough so you can shoot him. Repair. Yeah, you just anchor for just a moment. You keep repairing and shoot at him. Yeah, like I said, like I said, you either fight him like this or you sail away if you can't defeat him, so. Um, the game hasn't said that I could win yet, so, you know, because I don't have any of my ships in the red zone yet, but. You know, we're just going to fight it out with this guy. If you look at the ship, you can see it's all been pelted, but it's hard to penetrate them. All right, you need to turn over this way. Winds this way. Okay, now you anchor and... All right, just anchor, repair. I'm going to tell all these ships to shoot them in the rear. Repair and shoot. Repair and shoot. Repair. Come on. Get him. Hit him. Shoot him. Hit 
Well, if he's going to go by this ship, um, I would think that we should be able to try to get him. I mean, I probably should have had already turned around before he made this maneuver on me. Because now he's going to do pretty much damage to me. But, but if, I can get, if I can get going with the wind, I have enough to take him out, I think. Oh boy, this was tough. And it's close. I might have to drop somebody out of Shirley. Look how, the, how bitter fighting is. Down to 66 guys. Fighting right to the end. Look at that. Look at that. That was right down to 30. Down to 32 guys. Look at that. Right to the very end. Can you believe that? Wow, that was tough. That was tough. Okay, so... My strategy with one fire ship um, worked out. Like I said, I was questioning the fact that I came into this with taking that extra difficulty into it. I mean, I'm, I'm playing with scaling because, you know, that, that puts spice in the game. But, you know, but I also add that extra difficulty and, um, you know, so... Um, no, I'm, okay, in this battle, if you can just get past all those ships, grab the two transports and then just get out of here, but, um, I only wanted to show you guys this because in the campaign on my other 2K computer, I didn't get the, I don't, I, don't, I didn't get this battle because I didn't get the Aragonte, so, I think it was, that was the name of the ship, um, but, okay, so let's just take a look at this, this is the conclusion. You can bring in four ships. 
it appears that I had 1,900, 156 guns. They had seven ships, 284 guns, 3,000. My fire ship, of course, was sunk, but I took out one of their third rates. That was the plan, and it, and it did work. Um, captured six, um, so they, they lost everything they had. I lost just about a thousand men, which you can see how, how, how tough that was. I mean, I, I, you know, you're gonna have to tell me what you think about it. But anyways, and, and did I did a good, did a good job or not? I mean, like I said, when I'm playing this and I'm making the recordings, what I do is I, you know, you're just getting the raw ability of me playing this and. You know, and I'm constantly rethinking strategy and stuff. So if I say something wrong or if I don't do something, it's because I'm constantly thinking as I'm playing in this battle. So, but anyways, um, you, you, you just need one of these. So if you can't do what I just did, um, you know, you just got to get one of these. Or you eliminate the whole fleet, you know. Um, but we're going to see in a moment... Oh, by captioning these, do we get any extra money? Like, because it's called Treasure Fleet, so I, I think they're going to give us some money. So let's see. But anyways, here are the ships, the list of the ships. Here's my fire ship. It had 200 on it, and I and I and it took out a third rate. So that was that's what made this a little easier. But it was still tough. I mean, look at you. You see. You see how I did this? Like this was a this wasn't easy. This was a struggle. This was a total struggle. I mean, you can see how you can be. Uh, I'll mention you can see how you can be a little away from their broadside in them, and it's just the shots are just peppering off them. Like it's just it just peppers the ship. I mean, you can see how tough that is to actually get penetration. I mean, and and then if I get too close, he's gonna blast the heck out of me and destroy my ship. At least my ships I can repair, so that's what I did. Now, these guys are lost. These guys were on the fire ship, so they are not lost. Um, Heacock and Dawson will be somewhere uh, in my fleet. And yes, okay, so 65,000 treasure fleet, 65,000. Nice. So anyways, um, you'll have to tell me what you think of this battle. But like I said, you can see why getting both of them, you know, I got 65,000. So that is really good. Um, uh, what I was going to I think what I was going to say is, okay, so so I'm doing much better in this campaign than in my my my. 2K computer campaign that is the one that you guys are actually seeing but but I didn't get this battle so I wonder I want to add this battle into that so you get to see the battle but you're seeing it with a, my my other computer which is not as good as my 2T, 2K computer I mean it's pretty good believe me I mean it's 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 a, it's a, you know I got two good high tier computers but anyways so I will just show you my fleet and stuff in this campaign. But yeah, so I, I got the treasure fleet done. So this will be a video that will go up. Like I shouldn't have major repairs because I, you know, these ships. Yeah, look at it. Even still, Rhonda still had 3,000 damage even with repairing. Because I think what it is, we lost this piece right here, so... And we just got, we just got the structure repair kit. So here's, uh, this was, this used to be the Aragonti, uh, from the, what was it, fireworks, uh, battle? And, um, you can see here that I got it in this campaign, but I didn't get it in the other campaign that you're seeing. And I put the Woolworth uh, gun, then these, and the Woolworth gun on here. You know, she had these two. Kathy was the fourth rate uh, Razzie class. You know, I had the Woolworth 
guns on here, the 12 and now with these. And Rhonda, she only had this because I, 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 was, I was totally broke. And she has these, which are only six pounders. But, you know, it's what I like. I, I like the gun. I would like to have put a... I would like to have put like a nine or a 12 pounder here, but um, there, were, there weren't enough of them or I couldn't afford them. So that's why she got the two six pounders. And we got Mary over here where I dropped out some of the guns and Gail, you know, that's these lower ships that I can make to fire ships later on. Um, got Marie over here. I got her from that battle. And I got rid of, I got rid of, I got rid of this ship that you start with at the beginning of the campaign. I traded this ship out for, um, from that, from that ship, uh, whatever I got from that battle. From fireworks, yeah, it was from, I think it was from fireworks, right? Let me, let me look at the menu. Yeah, and we could save right here. Oh no, it was Snatch. It was Snatch. Excuse me. Snatch is where I got... Um, yes, it was Snatch. Because as you can see, I played the whole campaign So it must have been, was it in fireworks? Where if you get the Aragonti, then when the chapter changes, or the stage changes, you get the treasure fleet. Something like that. I mean, I don't want to be totally confused what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you guys. But you do a point of interest or a side mission to get the smugglers battle, filthy smugglers. That gives you no perks. It's just a, it's just rep and money and stuff. But I think uh, in Snatch is where 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 I got. Well, I should probably like I said I was gonna save. So let me just go ahead and save. Okay. But anyways, what I was what I was making a point of was. I named it Maria, but it was the Sano whatever, some kind of long uh, Spanish name. It's like one of the one of these uh, transport sinks, and the other one comes a, to fight you, which it doesn't even have guns. I I put these guns on it, but okay, so we got 32 rep. And that was a uh, treasure fleet. Excellent performance, Captain. After capturing, yeah, see right here. This is it right here. After capturing the Aragante, you've also seized the Spanish treasure. Keep on impressing me, please. So you can see in this campaign, um, you can see that I. I, I got that. I, I wasn't recording any of that. I only was playing this campaign to get, to capture that Aganti so that way I would have this treasure uh, battle so I could then um, record it and then upload it with my other campaign from the 2K machine. I mean, I just wanted you guys to see that this is a battle you can get if you get the Aragonte, but... Um, in the other campaign, I, I wasn't going to have it, so I, I went on this computer. I played all these Don battles just to get to this point so I could show you guys that. But as you can see, uh, this campaign, it's the same settings as the other campaign. It's just on two different computers that I play this game on. And, um, and as you can see... I have this third rate. So in this particular campaign, this campaign might turn out better than the one that I'm actually putting online. And you guys can tell me if you want me to continue from this point on this campaign. 
uh, or you want the 2K machine campaign. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know. You guys would have to make up your mind on that one. But anyway, so, okay, so. All right, so we have the, the Monarch, right? But I already have the Maria, and I don't think I need... Uh, I don't need these transports. And look at this in the British campaign, right? It costs 20 to buy her, but they only give you four. So they don't really give you much for these. But yeah, I don't want them. And, it, and here's some fifth rates. Fifth rate. All right, so suppose I add a second. Yeah, so see if I do that, if I add a second third rate, It's going to cost me 14 to repair it. And you can see what it comes with. It comes with a 4 pounder Armstrong, 18 pounder, and a 24 pounder Bogarts. That's what these Ardents come with. So you can see that. So I'm just going to, uh, part of the video, like when I do the harbor stuff. If you watch this, you know, um, I'm just giving, I'm trying to just give information. So there, that, there you see it. Um, now, I, I have guys here. Hey, here, here, hey, here's Heacock. Remember, he was, um, so he ended up in my reserves. Yeah, and here's my reserves right here. Got a hundred on, and intelligence dexterity 89 on strength 100 on perception 100 on endurance 98 on willpower so yeah so here he is and, and maybe this other guy so we might as well just uh for the heck of it Ah, uh, we're only gonna get, we're only gonna get two. Oh, unless I go more. Okay, yeah, okay. All right. Well, suppose I go to optimal. Cost me nine thousand, and I'll get all three perks. All right, so we have all three perks. And now I don't... I don't know if there's going to be any guns available. Let's just take a peek. Well, there's a four pounders of those. I have 10 of them, actually. And we have the 12 pounders and nothing else available. So let's say I put the, the, that there. And suppose I go with the six there. And suppose I go with the well, I already oh, right at twelve. Okay. All right. So it lowers. Notice how it lowered the weight. So get rid of the Bogard and the Armstrong guns that were big, heavier guns. I put more lighter guns on here. I know the caliber is down. But, you know, we'll be able to hit 
you know, fairly long range. I mean, I, I rather have um, these guns here, um, but we we don't want we can't get them. But I'd rather have th th these guns here. But anyway, so it only costs six thousand, so that's not bad. And it lowered the weight drastically, so that means I could um, I could max him out. Yeah, well, we got a th we got we got two thousand of these, so we might as well just give it. It's gonna cost twenty five four thousand, but I'll go ahead and do that just for the heck of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on um, a structure repair kit. It costs twelve thousand, and that breaks my money. Okay, so that breaks my money. Um, okay, well, let's see. First of all, um, I... I don't, oh yeah, I don't have any, I must have used them already, okay, so. Oh no, on that, on that battle, you don't get, uh, perk points, okay, so. Anyways, yeah, you can see what I did here, I guess I could just show that for a moment. In this particular campaign, you can see the tech that I got, all the green check marks. Uh, stuff like that. Um. Now, I was gonna go to, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. So we get 800, get 7,000, for these bow guards, get another 7,000. As far as land goes, you can see what I got. And I got these six pounders here that I got from uh, the, the, the most recent land, from the smugglers, I think. Was it the smugglers or um, whatever the other land battle was earlier? Um, I, I got these six pounders, it was really nice. Because all we got in the shop is what I've sold to them. And then they had these, I think. Okay, so the only thing I'm, I guess the only thing I'll show is uh, um, I wanted to get to optimal. And I think I need money, but what I will do is I will I will lose the eleven hundred dollars because I'm gonna do this patrol here. Oh yeah, and uh let's cancel for just a bobet. I think I'll leave everybody else out. I mean, I I could put in Kathy just for the heck of it. Okay. In town, our sailors discovered a very beautiful picture painted by the young Spanish painter Francisco Goya 
According to the previous owner, this man will pay to get his picture back and we can sell it back to him or we can make it a little gift to our admiral. He loves modern art. Jeremy Knox, Boatsman. Okay, so so if you if you sell it back, you'll get some money and, and that's it. And if you, you make it a gift for, for the admiral, um, you'll get a modifier, I think. So let's see. So, okay, so the patrol gave us nine reputation and 4,700. We sunk the two ships. And the report is a gift in the blessing of the giver. Or put in another way, a very expensive bribe. So they gave us 13 reputation, which I was really low on rep. So that's good. And I have 27,000. And uh, what I could do is, oh, I got to repair the ships, darn it. Uh, they guess they got, see, and what sucks too is these guys have repair kits, but, you know, because I'm not manually doing those side missions, uh, I wish the ships could do automatic repairs while they're at battle. What do you think? Should we ask the dev if we have repair kits on our ships? Shouldn't they just automatically repair, you know, instead of us having to manually do it? Yeah, like each of these ships has a repair kit. All right, so now. See, I don't even have enough rep to get one of these. So that means I'm gonna have to get rid of this third rate. And that'll give me enough to buy one of these. And then that means I will get rid of that one. There. And that way I don't have a cost of any trophies. As you can see here, no cost to trophies now. I got rid of them. So yeah, so doing that gift gave me some rep and stuff. So that all allowed me to get, um, you know, that, that ship there. So basically I added a third rate to my fleet and I could possibly go with this fifth rate. Let me see what I could do. I could probably, I could probably take the guys off of this ship. And I can go to this ship here. Oh, and I put more guys in here, so we can buy some officers. All right, so we'll do the 169, and we'll be we'll be able to add the perks. Oh. Okay, so I have uh, Shirley, third rate, ardent. Kathy is a, a Razi, fourth rate. Rhonda is a fifth rate. Now these ships, these six rate uh, ships, I will probably uh, turn those into fire ships. Just so that way I can get rid of them. 
or I could sell them and make money, but... And I got... I got Mar Marie here. And then this one here. Let me see, what are my names here? Like, I'm thinking of all the girls that I had, that I had girlfriend names, is what I'm trying to think of. Who else did I have as a girlfriend? A Portuguese girl named Maria. Got Marie, but how do you spell Marie? Marie. Marie. Maria. I think I already have Marie. I have Marie. How do you spell Marie? I can't even remember how to spell her name. Marie. Oh? I, yeah, I think that's it. Maria. She was Portuguese. So anyways, um, because I have Marie and, and Maria. So, okay. That's how you spell it. Okay. So I think what I could do right now is just change the the stage because we got to end the chapter. All right. Well, I have uh, look at I almost have two thousand prisoners. capturing all those ships and stuff um now the money would be nice but you can see how you know i i wasn't able to get certain ships because i didn't have reps so i'm going to take the 17 rep and now all those prisoners are gone On february uh 28th uh, 1782 from kingston Jamaica, support base of the Royal Navy and Monstriat uh, Island in West Indies has been occupied by the French with minimal casualties. 68 artillery guns were taken. And we have Ontario Express and those. And you can see that it would be four ships. And if I even uh, did it as War Hero, you know, then it would bump up to 100,000 and stuff. But um, anyways, like I said, um, this here, this campaign is independent of the campaign that I was putting online. I just wanted to show you the Treasure Fleet battle and you know but as you can see that i'm i'm doing a little bit better in this one and and, and so i like to show those kind of things like um for maria can we um give her okay so um now that just opened up so now we can put six or uh, six pounders there those are seven pounds Hey, and these are four pounds, so it can save weight. But what could we put there? Do we have enough for nine? Yeah. All right, so if I put the nine there, and if I put the six there, like, I really like these guns. So yeah, well either way I'm going to buy those anyway. So, because I would use those on other ships too. So, the question is, now to get these guys to 420, and could I, could I put a repair kit on? Uh, nope. Eh. 
Oh, uh, no, not that. Um, what am I thinking? I wanted, uh, I wanted something else. Let me see. Where is... Uh, don't tell me I'd have to buy it. Okay, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta buy it. Darn it. Okay. Well, I'll buy it. All right, so unified gun card. So that'll lower the weight. So now I should be able to put a structure repair. I like structure repair. I, I, I like that. Now, can I get, I still, ah, oh, but now I don't have the money. So now I don't have the money. Unless I gave up on, nope, cancel that. Um, I, I do want this, so let's go ahead and do that. I want this ship to be decent. Um, so now can we buy some until we... Okay, so now we would lose the perk. So right about there, we can do that. And then if we take reserves... Oh, but I took guns off so I can sell those. 900 and 5,700. 5, All right, there we go. Now we got the money. Ah, oh, we still are short, but what we can do is just buy enough or just go to optimal. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so again, could I? Oh yeah, see, we lose some XP All right, can we? All right, so if we just go to optimal, uh, we lose a little bit of XP, but we don't lose the perk. All right, so that would be ship one. Ship two, ship three. And I guess, Ronda, I can take these guys off here. And to here, I could... Am I buying a rifle, or... Oh! So it's still going to cost money. Okay, so, you know, all right. Let's see what I don't really need. Like, I'm gonna get rid of these. And we only have four of those, so we're gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these around because I might wanna buy those and make a unit later. We'll sell that. That gives me 5,000. I'm All I'm doing here is just showing you how I would prepare for the next battle and you know even though this is not the campaign that um, I'm doing I'll just go to four 
Can I go to 500? Nope. Ah, 495. Okay, so you can see that that takes all my money and stuff. But I could put this ship in. Uh, Shirley, Kathy, Vicky, and Maria. All right, so that's what I could do for that that one there. So I'm just gonna save it right here. All right, so anyways, I was just showing you this particular battle, the treasure fleet. So that's what this campaign I built I did this campaign all the way up to this point just to do that one battle to show you. Now, of course, it's not going to be the same as the campaign that I've been putting up. This is just going to be one video involving that battle. And so you're going to see a different campaign, but they're the same, easy, easy with um, scaling. So that's the difference now. If, if you think I should be showing you this campaign instead of the 2k one you can let me know but anyways that's all this was about but i did a lot so i just kind of show you the way i do things and how i do it so some people like seeing that and some people don't so i just make it available and that's that's all this was about so anyways i'm gonna close up this video was about the treasure fleet uh the, the treasure fleet battle treasure fleet that's all this 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 video was about on this campaign so anyways no matter where you are in the world i hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon take care of yourself be kind to each other spread peace and spread love god bless to you and your own religion keep them all fair and even to each other there's no room for hate just love everybody. Just remember that. Be kind. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos and amigas.